Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. In this tutorial, we're going to edit this gorgeous little part pair using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Actions. This is Chewy, and Chewy belongs to Charlie at Click Props, Click Live, and the Fresh Academy. Um, if you don't know Charlie Kaufman, um, I do recommend looking up his work. It's absolutely fantastic. Charlie has kindly sent me this picture of his little boy. Uh, raw file, I've not done any adjustments in ACR, just open straight out. This is straight out of camera. Really, really beautiful. So let's edit in Photoshop. I am just going to uh, crop this image down a little bit. Just zoom out. Just crop in and I'm just going to straighten this horizon line. Okay, so about here we want a nice kind of rule of thirds crop there. Just straightening up this bench. Cropping is something, do it right first time and it goes really well. I've got generative expand on on this crop um, because I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud and it's just easy uh, when cropping to have generative expand on because it's going to fill in that gap. And there we go. I'm just going to flatten this down on the layers panel. I've got Fur Baby's Photoshop actions loaded in and layers panel visible. I'm just going to click on these and go through a little bit fast. So I'm going to start with warmer scene. This is just going to warm our image up a little bit. You see there before and after a nice warmth. All of these are adaptable on the opacity and uh, layer masks. On the brush section, I'm just going to have a little uh, brighten areas and I'm just going to pop a little bit of brightness in here on our pup. I'm also going to play a gentle darken brush and this is going to um, add darkness wherever we paint it on. A white brush is already selected so I'm just going to darken down um, the background here and some of these areas. My brush might look a little bit bigger um, than it actually is because I magnify the cursor a bit on these videos but it's not, it is quite a big brush. So let's zoom in a little bit and edit our dog. So I'm going to play bright eyes brush here. Oh my brush is huge, let's shrink that down a little bit. My brush is always 100% opacity and 25% flow. And I'm just brightening under the iris area here, just to bring a little bit of light back um, into our poochie there. Nose kiss. This helps tone and sharpen the nose. Sometimes you can find if you're focusing on the eyes in a dog portrait, the nose can be a little bit out of focus. And the mucky pup, I'm just going to play eye and beard stain cleanup. Um, beard and eye staining is very common, and we don't want to take too much of it out, just a little bit. And I'm just going to pop this around the eyes a little bit and that's going to bring the attention back in to Chewy's eyes um, and the focus where it needs to be. Next up let's remove the collar. So I'm going to come into the hide harness collar and distraction section, set up the, um, the lay, click this one first and then all you need to do is add, grab a selection tool and just draw a loose selection um, around any of the areas you want to remove and fix. Hit select and fix it and it's done. Any other little bits you can just click again and play it again. I'm just going to do that bit there. I find it a little distracting so let's just fill that in with the fur. So we don't have any colour corrections that we need to make. I'm just going to actually play the sharp eyes brush a little bit here and just bring the attention really into these areas, the eyes and the nose. Anywhere else you want to just add that little touch of sharpness to. So we can see here where we started before and after so far. I'm really making this image pop. So now I'm into the artist section here. I'm going to play painterly silk fur. I use this for every single animal I edit, um, studio or outdoors. It's really, really beautiful. And it just adds this beautiful, soft contrast, painterly look to the fur. Really, really pretty. So I'm just painting that on. I'm avoiding the eye area. Just painting that on. Really, really beautiful. I'm going to actually come back up for a second and play gentle darken. And I'm just going to just lightly bring this over the coat in this area here where the light is hitting again so that the um, attention is really coming into the face. I'm also going to darken this um, underlayer and a little bit here just so we're really bringing the attention in. A little touch of brighten there too. So now we're into the artist section again, painterly silk fur, we've done that one. Uh, I'm going to play the Hazy Halo. This one's really cool. You can literally move this little bit of haze. Can you see it there? Moving it around. So I'm going to put that in the background and use the layer mask just to make sure there's none on Chewy's face there. 
You see, I just added that pretty haze into the background and we can just affect the opacity a little bit on this, just so we're blurring out that background even more. Play a little bit of ultra details, just dab this gently over the face and the apples, just choosing where to bring the attention in and where to take it off. And now we're into the diffuse finishing section. I'm in the uh, warm section here and I'm going to hit radiant, see what this one does. These are really good fun because you can just hit them and play with them. I think that looks really, really pretty. You see there, just before and after radiant, these are the, this is where this set really comes to life. And you can layer these up. So for example, I've just hit beam and I'm just going to brush this off some of the areas, switch into a black brush. And we can play with the opacity too for this. So before and after. It really depends what kind of look you want to go for. Everything kind of goes with your vision. You just um, click and play. I'm going to put add a soft vignette on. And um, what this has done, it's just darkened those edges down even more. You can see here, if you open up these groups, you can edit everything as well. And if you want, you can layer up even more, um, even more of the finishes. For example, in the Dreamy Mix, we can hit Cherished. Um, and this is going to add that really beautiful dreamy warmth to our image. And again, black layer mask is selected for you. You can just paint this off wherever you need to. I'm going to add uh, one more vignette. And brush this off. We don't want the understand too dark. Just forming the image as we go, going through the actions in order. Contrast boost. This is a final kick of contrast. Uh, take this off, Jimmy. And so let's see our before and after. I'm just going to whop these layers into a group. I've got my layer panel on large so we can see what we're doing, but it also means it's quite big. So this is where we started and this is where we finished before and after. Let's just zoom in a little bit, see all the details are there with a beautiful painterly finish. And that is using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite, available on the LSP Actions website. Thank you, Charlie, for sending in this beautiful photo of Chewy, and thank you for watching. I'm Lauren. Bye-bye.